So, here the work energy principle is not That is nothing but this change in kinetic energy or the work done in moving the object from one point to another point, it will be equal to the change in kinetic energy of the object. That is the work energy principle. So, the work done in moving the object from one point to another point will be nothing but or it is equal to the change in kinetic energy of the object. That is called work energy principle. That is what we call it. The object is moving like this because of the force applied an object is moving like this other so graph from the position 1 to 2 and then a path low or end position at the come 1 to 2 in a travel log mode initial other displacement s1 in the displacement s2 occur object in your come the force so in the force when the react and the force are end up reclama 1 ft the tangential force will take it as a ft and the normal force will be this force I am going to resolve into two components one is the FT so this is the way how the object is traveling in the point one length two could travel what is the work done that we are going to calculate so what we are going to calculate what is the work done in moving the object from the position one to two is the work done is equal to in a force into displacement work done is equal to force into displacement force is equal to again mass into acceleration m into a into dx so my acceleration is dv by dt that is rate of change of velocity is acceleration dx so in again dx by dt v podalama mv dv this is your small amount of work done first in a particular total work done calculate panala we are calculating only the small amount of work done by moving this object so dw is equal to mv dv so if you want to calculate the total work done w is equal to integration of d dw between the limits when the object is at the position 1 let its velocity be v1 when it is here let its velocity be v2 so i will integrate this between the limits v1 to v2 but dw equal mv dv podalama so it will become v1 to v2 mv dv mass velai eduthita I will integrate only this V D V between the limits V1 to V2. So this one I can write it as if I integrate this V D V, I will be getting V square by 2 between the limits V1 to V2. 2 away M by 2. V V2 square minus V1 square. So I can write this as M V2 square by 2 minus M V1 square by 2. So what is this m v2 square by 2? It is nothing but the expression for kinetic energy. And a v2 is clear. v2 into the final kinetic energy. That is the final velocity. So this is nothing but your final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. So final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. This is nothing but your change in kinetic energy. So work done in moving the object from the position. 1 to 2 will be stored as change in kinetic energy. This we call as a work energy principle. In F is equal to force into displacement port on In the end of force responsible path, this Ft. Tha. So, this Ft cos theta or Ft will give you the provide necessary force for the object. Because this force, this tangential force in the, is in the direction of the motion of the object. So, this work done in moving the object from 1 to 2 will be nothing but yeah or it is equal to change in kinetic energy this we call it as a work energy principle this is an important 5 mark question